For a baby. For a baby. in Dovisida. Welcome to Dovisida. Dovisida means the place in North where reindeer and people are together. I am Elinor and this is my husband Ailo. And the dog, her name is Chamo. Chamo is a typical Sami name for the dog who has these bright spots over her eyes. Mm. We used to say that kind of dog, she has four eyes, so she's been more than other dogs. <laughs> <laughs> And it's typical for us to have the name for the dogs after the color for the fur, fur and how it looks. Then it's easy to know exactly which of dog we are talking about. We will first of all wish you welcome with a joy. Joy is the Sami way of musical expression. I will do the joy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous because so many people here. Oh. We can do it person, do it. we can do it animals, we can do it nature, and we can do whatever we want to do. And today I will wish you welcome with a person joy. This joy belongs to our oldest son, Adenildas, and he owned this joy. So we live in the winter time, winter time in the inland and we move it with the reindeer to the, into the coast in the end of April. And the reindeer, they will go free in this area for summer time for grazing and they find the food by themselves in the nature. Reindeer meat is a very, uh, it's the most ecologic meat we have in this area and it's also a lot of, uh, there is a lot of omega-3 in the meat so it's also a very healthy meat. And we eat almost every part of the animals. We dry the meat, we cook it, we fry it, and we smoke it by then we hang it over open fire. And if uh, you ask I know how long time it will take to smoke the meat, I know we answered you three or four hours. <coughs> this soup we serve with you is just only boiled with the water, salt, reindeer meat and bone. <laughs> The you are now sitting in a love war, as this tent is called it in Sami language. It's much big, bigger than the traditional size, so for that reason you can sit on benches. That will not be possible in the traditional size. Mm. Traditional where we have thin birch branch on ground, reindeer skin up there, and so is it. You see the traditional size outside the left. But the lava is always filled in the same way, it's no matter which size it is in. We have always the fireplace in the middle so the smoke can easily go out. And a lot of people are wondering what will happen when it's raining or snowing when we have this hole upstairs. We can have a cloth for half of the opening and it's always important to look after the wind direction. So we will have the cloth on that side. So in that way it don't will rain or snow straight inside. And in a traditional lab where you will always find the space for the kitchen inside here. And there will be sitting rooms in the lab, so close to the kitchen will mother sit, father, children, workers, guests and 
close to the door, usually the dog, but this time the cat <laughs> But you have to know it's not a bad place, Nils Kaldle is standing on, because the dog is the most important workers for us when we work with the reindeer. Well, we don't live in the Labo permanently anymore, but we still use it when we work with the reindeer. In inland, in Winterland, where we live in the winter time, there we have monthly hosts as all other people. And in the time when we move it with the reindeer to the coast, then we will use the Labo as our home. And we are in summer grace in land, we will live in cabin. This color will show you when you drive to Meha. For us, it's always important to ask nature for permission to build up a Labo. We do that because we think maybe someone have lived on this place before, or maybe still are living here. So the way we ask for permission is to go silent in ourselves and ask to get peace and harmony to stay here. And there is a lot of stories about them who don't ask. After a while, when they have slept down, maybe they will hear someone coming and ask, why are you sleeping on my place? But they didn't see me. <laughs> Sure, they will ask next time they are going to build up a level. <laughs> when you arrive at tomorrow, they are building a new hospital there. Also, they went to the place where they was going to build up this hospital and stay there for a night in a level for asking nature for permission before they start building. <laughs>